Hey chameleons, it's Camille and today I am bringing you this look which is a bright winged liner look with a very nice natural looking everything else because the bright liner pops and is pretty crazy. But I wore this to VidCon and I posted a picture on my Instagram and a bunch of you guys liked it and wanted to see a tutorial for it. And it's also in my VidCon vlog, which is linked down below. So if you guys want to check out the original look, it is pretty much the same as this. But <laughs> I decided to make a tutorial because you guys asked for it. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So I start off by doing my face, which I'll show you guys in the tutorial if you want, but I pretty much did like foundation, concealer, powder, blush, highlight, and contour. So we have a great place to start out with, and we can just move straight on to the eyes. Oh, and if you were wondering, my lips look super glossy and oily because I have Aquaphor on them, which I'm just letting soak into my lips while I'm doing the rest of my makeup, so it'll be nice and supple and ready for the lipstick afterwards. But I'm starting out with my eyes using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, just so my eyeshadow will adhere to my eyelids better. Now I'm going to be using my NYX Avant Pop Palette, and there's this nice crease color right here, and it's just a nice medium brown, and I'm gonna be putting that in my crease. And I'm using my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush to do that. And when I blend it, I'm kind of flicking it outwards instead of pulling it down to a circle, so it can kind of get that like little bit of a wing shape. And in the same palette, I'm using this beigey gray color just to do my lid so it's one smooth color, and so my liner will kind of pop against it. And then to highlight, I'm just using my Becca Champagne Pop Cheek Highlighter. And I like to apply this with my finger just because it goes on a little bit more dense. And I just, I like it. I like blending it with my finger. Also going to add a little bit of this in the inner corners, but not too much so we don't distract from the main attraction, which is the eyeliner. Okay, so the funnest part of this look is the yellow liner, which is this. It's by Ofra. It's called Yellow Submarine, and it's just like a gel cream thing. Like, I wouldn't really call it a gel liner because it's very liquidy, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, that's definitely not thick enough to be a gel, but it's also not a liquid. It's, like, in between a gel and a liquid. But you want to use a really small brush when you're applying this, so I'm using this. It's the Sigma Winged Liner Brush, and when I did it the first time, I didn't have any thin brushes with me at VidCon, so I'm pretty sure that this one's going to be a lot easier to control just because of the size. So you just want to pick up a little bit of that on your brush, and not too much at a time. It's really easy to pick up a lot of this. And then what I like to do is just kind of start in the middle and place it along my lash line. And you want this to be a nice solid line, and that's really the key, because if it doesn't turn out solid, then it's just gonna look like garbage. <laughs> also, you want the line to be somewhat thick, because you're going to be doing a line on top of it, on the bottom half, with black, and you don't want that too thin, then the black's gonna cover up all the yellow. I just realized that I could call this a paint. That's between gel and liquid. It's kind of like a gooey paint. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this eye, just so that they're going to come out with the lid space being even before I start doing the wing. Now that we have this part taken care of, we're going to do the hardest part, which is winging it out. So you're going to be very careful and just take it slowly. I'm going to do a line that connects to the tip of my eyebrow and the edge of my eye. That's going to be my guideline for where I draw the first line, and then I'm going to connect it in. So this is what the liner looks like currently. It's very, very bright. <laughs> so now I'm going to grab out a black liner just to do right underneath it to kind of emphasize my eye shape. So I know there's nothing left written on this, but this is the NYC liquid liner. And so far, this is my favorite liquid liner that has like a brush on it. Um, 
I don't really like the brush part of this, but I love the formula. And it's a lot easier to put on top of this stuff because this is kind of liquidy and gooey. And when I use pen liner on top, it kind of gets all over the pen and I don't want that. So the liquid comes off the brush a lot easier. So I definitely recommend using liquid on top. So what happens if you were to mess up when you're doing the black part? Well, my solution for you is don't. If you mess up this part, it's actually going to be so hard to correct. So I'm being very careful right now. And I'm trying not to open my eyes too much and smudge it. And then on the bottom, I'm just going to do some very simple black liner. This is a Kajal pencil by Essence in black. And I'm just going to do this on my waterline. Going most of the way in, but not all the way. For mascara, I'm using my Smashbox X-Rated, and I'm gonna do the top and bottom lashes with this. I'm gonna start by coating the tops, my lashes, trying to get as close as possible to the base because if there's any stray yellow, you wanna cover that. So you have to have a really steady hand for today's look. So you should probably do this before you take your caffeine for the day so you don't have those jitters and shaky hands. Whoa, that was exhilarating. Um, now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes, which is a lot less scary because I have nothing to lose down here. I'm just gonna do very light like wiggles on them because my lashes are really long, so I'm not really trying to go the whole length of them. I just kind of wanna darken them. All right, so now I'm going to brush upwards for my top lashes. When I first did this look at VidCon, I used falsies just because I was using falsies the whole week. But I feel like uh, that might be a little bit too much for today because I'm about to go to a job interview in like 20 minutes. And they're already not going to hire me for the yellow liner, so I don't want to rub it in with some lashes. They probably also hate dyed hair, so there's that. So I'm very happy with how the liner turned out. So now I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows with my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil, which is what I've been using a lot lately. So now for my lips, I'm gonna kind of just wipe off the Aquaphor. My lips are super, super soft right now. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Lip Pen in 11, which is just a nice pink that looks pretty natural and isn't gonna be too much of a distraction from the eyes. Then on the other side, it has this kind of cool highlighting apparatus. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my finger and use it to highlight my cupid's bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you guys ever see a photo that I post or a vlog that I'm in that you really like the makeup for, uh, let me know and I might be able to do a makeup tutorial like I did for this one, my VidCon look. If you guys didn't already know, which you would if you followed me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, but I just launched a third channel. Ooh, it is a cooking channel. And I have one video up so far. I have a second one filmed that I will be editing and posting soon. And I'm just gonna have lots of cool recipes, a very easy stuff. I just moved out on my own, so I'm still learning, but I do know how to do some things, girl. So I have that linked down below. So don't forget to check out that channel and subscribe to it. I also have my vlog channel linked down below, and I'm doing a lot more vlogging now that I live in New York. And I have all my other social media linked in the description box. Comment down below if you guys would ever do this makeup look and where would you wear it to? Hopefully not a job interview. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. But that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you chameleons in the next one. Kisses.